In today's lesson, we'll explore some fundamental concepts in chemistry. Atoms, isotopes, atomic mass, the mole, and percent composition. In this lesson, our objectives are, first, to understand the meaning of atomic mass. Second, to explore the concept of relative atomic mass. Third, to learn how to use chemical formulas. Fourth, to differentiate between atomic mass and molar mass. And finally, to determine the percent composition of elements in a compound. One of the most accurate techniques for determining atomic masses is mass spectrometry. This technique measures the charge to mass ratio of charged particles. Inside a mass spectrometer, ions are deflected into a circular path by a magnet and the radius of that path depends on the mass-to-charge ratio. Ions that have the same charge but different masses travel in paths with different radii. For example, if we analyze a pure sample of neon gas, we observe a mass spectrum with three distinct peaks. Each peak corresponds to a different neon isotope. This proves that neon naturally exists in three isotopic forms. Now, the actual masses of atoms are extremely small. For example, a calcium atom weighs about 6.66 times 10 to the minus 26 kilograms, while a neon atom is about 3.35 times 10 to the minus 26 kilograms. We notice how these numbers are meaningless and hard to handle. It's much more useful to know that a calcium atom is about twice as heavy as neon and about 40 times heavier than hydrogen. That's why, instead of actual atomic masses, chemists use relative atomic masses. The relative atomic mass is expressed in units called atomic mass units, or AMU. This scale is based on the carbon-12 isotope, which has been assigned an exact mass of 12.00 atomic mass units. So, Every other atom's mass is determined relative to carbon-12. For instance, hydrogen is about 8.4% as massive as carbon-12, giving it a mass of about 1.008 atomic mass units. And if an atom is twice as heavy as carbon-12, then its mass would be 24 atomic mass units. We can even relate the atomic mass unit to grams. One carbon-12 atom weighs 1.992 times 10 to the minus 23 grams. Since one carbon-12 atom equals 12 atomic mass units, dividing gives us the value. One atomic mass unit equals 1.661 times 10 to the minus 24 grams. Hence, the atomic mass of calcium in atomic mass units is calculated as its absolute mass in grams multiplied by the conversion factor of one atomic mass unit per 1.661 times 10 to the power of negative 24 grams. The result is approximately 40.1 atomic mass units. Next, let's look at the mass of molecules. The molecular mass is the sum of the atomic masses of all the atoms in a molecule. For example, in aluminum hydroxide, aluminum contributes 27 atomic mass units. Oxygen contributes 48 atomic mass units, and hydrogen contributes 3 atomic mass units. That gives a total molecular mass of about 78 atomic mass units. Now comes a cornerstone concept, the mole. A mole is the amount of substance that contains the same number of atoms as there are in exactly 12 grams of carbon-12. That number is Avogadro's number, which equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd objects. So, one mole of hydrogen atoms contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd hydrogen atoms, and the same goes for any other element or molecule. Let's practice. How many atoms are there in each of the following quantities? 1.5 moles of oxygen, and 4.1 moles of copper. Before checking the answers, pause the video and try solving on a sheet of paper. All right, let's see the solutions. 
1.5 moles of oxygen contain 9.03 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, and 4.1 moles of copper contain 2.47 times 10 to the 24th atoms. Remember, in these types of calculations, it's important to solve step by step using dimensional analysis. The mass of one mole of a substance depends on its identity. This is called the molar mass, and it is expressed in grams per mole. For example, if the atomic mass of carbon-12 is 12 atomic mass units, one mole of carbon atoms weighs exactly 12 grams, and its molar mass is 12 grams per mole. Similarly, the molar mass of a molecule is the molecular mass expressed in grams. For aloh 3 which has a molecular mass of 78 atomic mass units, one mole weighs 78 grams, and hence its molar mass is 78 grams per mole. Let's apply this to the paracetamol molecule, a medication used to reduce fever and treat pain. Its formula is C8H902N, and its molar mass is about 151 grams per mole. So if we have 0.55 moles of paracetamol, the mass would be 83 grams. The amount, in moles, of 500 milligrams of paracetamol equals 0.0033 moles. Another important concept is percent composition, which tells us the percent by mass of each element in a compound. For example, in one mole of CHCl3, which weighs 119.4 grams, carbon contributes 12.01 grams, which corresponds to 10.1%. Hydrogen contributes 1.008 grams, which corresponds to 0.84%. And chlorine contributes 106.5 grams, which corresponds to 89.2%. We observe that chloroform is mostly chlorine by mass. Let's recap. Most elements exist naturally as mixtures of isotopes. The relative masses of atoms are expressed in atomic mass units based on carbon-12. A mole is Avogadro's number of particles. The molar mass in grams is numerically equal to the atomic or molecular mass in atomic mass units. And finally, percent composition lets us determine how much of each element is present in a compound.